Show. Sometimes leaders of a farm organization can come from any background, and others are born with some innate qualities. So WCIA 3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis will have more on that in this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. In its more than 100-year history, the Illinois County Fair Association has been led by men. Until now. For the next two years, 22-23, I, I am president of the state organization. Charlene Ware, the secretary treasurer of the state fair board, is looking forward to Jill's leadership. Jill is going to be an amazing president. She is so personable. She is not afraid to get her hands dirty. You know, she's been at the Fisher Community Fair forever. And Jill Hardesty is passing down her heritage. My youngest son is on our fair board. He's one of our directors at Fisher. Another lady leader is Pam Jansen of Manunk, a recent president of the Illinois Pork Producers. We had been going to uh, county meetings off and on and with some neighbors and you know they they just like oh you need to be on this you need to be on this well you know it's like okay fine I'll see what it's like and uh, so here 10 years later here I am and never thought I would ever be president of Illinois pork producers but I am Angus cattle breeders across the nation know the name of Curtin John, Fred, and now T.J. Curtin have led the Illinois Angus Association, most recently T.J. with his dad who operate Curtin Land and Cattle Company in northeastern Christian County. We've all three been president of the Illinois Angus Association, and uh, my grandpa served on the um, American Angus Board of Directors um, in the late 90s and early 2000s. And then there's perennial leader Len Corzine. The passion was the future of agriculture. Len Corzine farms at Assumption with son Craig, but why did he accept the National Corn Growers Presidency? We all have to, in our society, try to give back or try to help our society to help our industries and to help the future for our own families as well as as a future of Assumption, Illinois, as well as our country. He says younger leaders need to step up. You have to have stars line up, if you will. Your family has to be in the right spot. Your farming operation has to be in the right spot to make a commitment. And that's our Harvest Heritage Report on presidents in agricultural organizations.